Okay. Yeah, that shitty truck. So what's up? What's troubling you? Uh, I just, uh, quick question. If you had a yeah. gang member that, uh, shot one of your other gang members, and they're the same, like, rank or whatever, mother, and, mm -hmm. uh, he go uh, after he shoots him in the back of the head, he goes, I don't... In the head? I don't... Yeah, I don't fuck with you. I don't like you. I don't want you in this gang no more. I'm done with you. You need to get the fuck out, basically. You know what I'm saying? And the reason reasoning for that was because you agitated him after saving his life and another gang member and helped him pick up. But you agitated him on purpose, pissing him off. Interesting. So what are you asking me? What I would do? Simon Lodge. Here. Hey, what's what up, fellas? Uh, what and lady? Um... Yeah, yeah, I'm just gonna go do a quick loop uh, by Stab City. I'm just having a quick chat with Ratchet. Alright, so apparently somebody with pink dreads are on the block right now. He's coming to talk to us about getting robbed by us. I don't know. Alright. Somebody, uh, yeah, somebody wanna go down there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, sounds good. Slide, did you have an English accent? I'm getting off the radio for a second. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Too many voices. Okay. So, what exactly are you asking me? So, it's the same... So like, what would you have done if the, you had the same scenario? Motherfucker? So... Like, would you have punished this person? Kicked him out? Or what? So, we've, we've had something similar happen in the past. Um... I don't think it was as... as um... Hmm. It's tough, because... If they're at the same rank, are they in leadership ranks? Or are they just like, uh... Yeah. Just regular, like, you know, oh. Soldiers, soldiers. oh, well, I mean, listen, uh, at the end of the day, Ratchet, like, whatever I tell you here, it, it's not for me to um, no, judge. I've asked every single gang member. Yeah. I mean, uh, leader. I, I've asked other gang members. Gotcha. I'm just curious. Yeah. Some people um, gave me some crazy advice, and some people, you know, you know, didn't say too much. Yeah, well, I mean, I can only speak on what I would do because every every other gang is different, and people run yeah. gangs differently, and it's not my place to uh, to say what people should and shouldn't do. But um, if it was, for example, if it was two people that were bickering and fighting each other all the time, and it ended up one shooting the other, um, and was like almost kind of baiting it for it to happen, and they were lower ranked people, I would punish both. Um, okay. And then I would make it very clear that if any of that shit ever happens again, like gunplay, then you're out of the gang. And um, the thing is, is like, people are going to fight within groups. You're around each other for a long period of time. Like, you don't agree on everything. There's different personalities. I get that. But like, if they want to handle their business with each other, they need to, you know, they need to fist fight it out. They need to grab some baseball bats, shit. They can even have a knife fight. You know, just try not to kill each other. But shooting for to kill is, even a knife is like kind of, you know, it, either that or I'd be like, listen, the two of you want to fight, if you want to fight to the death, then go ahead. And whoever comes out on top stays in the gang and whoever isn't is out. You know, it, if, if, yeah. if, if, that's, if that's how crazy, like if, if, if it's that serious well, and both I, people it, are in the wrong. Serious, it becomes serious when one member uh, says, you know, I want you out of the fucking gang and then they give ultimatums. Like it's me or him. Oh. Yeah. Okay, well, that's... I mean, at the end of the day, bro, I think a lot of it to, uh, it plays on, on gang politics. It's like, who's the, who's, the better, who's the better liked? Who brings more value? You know what I'm saying? Like, at the yeah. end of the day, some, some leaders and some people in positions, I'm not saying that's it for you and your position, but, for example, it puts me in a tough spot if the person in the wrong is the guy that is doing all of our hacking is an extreme value, is a damn good shooter, is around all the time, is a team player, and but he's a bit of a hothead and was in the wrong in doing something. That, you know, for me, it's like, it's one of those things where it's like, you still got to get punished because I can't show favoritism in the gang, but like, I would take that person aside and say, listen, man, you're fucking a big part of this gang. I need you. Stop doing this shit, bro. I need to fucking punish you because if I don't, the rest of the gang is going to fucking get upset and it's going to create a weird dynamic and people hold on to that resentment for a long time and they might be able to bury it, but after a while, bro, it comes out and somebody's going to backstab somebody, somebody's going to do something, throw somebody under the bus and it's going to create animosity down the road. So I would still have to punish both people 
but I would take take somebody the 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 one aside and say, "Listen, man, you can't do that anymore because you're forcing my hand." And that's pretty much what I would do. But constant fighting and shooting each other, we're family, right? Like you can't be doing that shit. Take take that out on somebody else. Like go go fist fight, go throw it down, go to the arcade, shoot each other there. But on the streets, that ain't it. That's what I would do. That's my honest answer. Hopefully you're here and your head didn't pop. Uh, I, I was listening. Okay. W, 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 motherfucker, thought process, motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, I and and you know what? That would have been perfectly fine with me. But what happened was the motherfucker got a punishment. He broke the punishment the next day, and then they didn't punish him after that. They just let him go, and then said that they'll just think of another punishment for him, and basically made it seem like it was your. It was like it happened between me and Future. Basically, it was my fault for agitating them that that it happened. Oh, okay. Is how they made it seem. And then a week later or two weeks later, both of us just recently got oceaned up two days ago, and somehow it's my fault. And I'm like. Bitch, I also got oceaned up. How the fuck? <laughs> and it's just a lot of it's a lot of biasness going on, and I'm like, bro, are we not even gonna like be the, like? What makes me mad is like, uh, can't be GSF. They weren't around. How the fuck you know they weren't around? Somebody that oceaned up somebody ain't gonna motherfucker be around for you to fucking find them. You stupid motherfuckers. That is like, true. Like, that shit irritates the hell out of me. That is true. And let 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 it be known, GSF is around, bro. Sometimes they just don't you just don't see them, but they is around. Yeah, yeah. They I guess they test they texted a uh, uh, future texted Ming. Vagos got me. So somebody's trying to like make it seem like it was Vagos so that we can go to war with Vagos and either one, they try to hit us from behind or two, they want us to hit Vagos because they lost the Vagos. Shit like that. And also, we've been flaunting the GSF chain like a motherfucker in their faces. Like, like, bro, like, you gonna tell me you're gonna shit on somebody's gang and they ain't gonna secretly do something if they feel like they can't beat you? Mm-hmm. Well, it makes sense. I mean, I don't know what to tell you, bro. No, I, no, mean, I know that. I'm just, I'm, I'm just, I'm just dealing with this shit right did now. Did you talk to Marty like, directly? Like, and just have a good... Uh, you, I think I think when Marty wakes up, it would all be cleared up, and it's either like you know whatever Marty says goes. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. If I were you, his opinion. If I if I was in your position, bro, just remain calm, man. Don't throw away a good thing that you got going on over there, right? Because, you know, if they get if they're gonna choose between you and Future, depending on what Future does, like they're gonna, they, you know, I I don't know. I I mean I can't say, but, you know, you got to look at the bigger picture here, right? So, yeah. you know, remain calm, be cool, calm, collected. No matter who is in the right or who is in the wrong, it's never okay to start trying to kill your own members. It's just not okay under any circumstance. The only way that I would ever find it okay is if, you know, they, they were known to backstab or just doing something that is so er egregiously bad for the gang that, like, you had no choice but to put them down or it was going to be some serious consequences. Outside of that, I mean, don't fight. Have a conversation with Marty one-on-one. -on -one. Don't go around and be honest. If you made some mistakes, you got to man up and you got to say, listen, I could have held, ha handled this better, done this better, and go from there. And if you get punished, don't worry about what the other side is doing. Deal with your punishment and don't, don't try and have like, you know, punishment, uh, uh, comparison punishment where it's like, oh, well, this guy only got this, but I got this. What the fuck? It's only going to make your, it's only going to make your situation worse. Unless you're trying to find a way out. So if you're trying to find a way out, then, you know, raise hell and do what you need to do. And if it doesn't work out, then it's what you wanted anyway. But sometimes when you fight the system too hard, man, the system punches you back. And, yeah. and uh, you know, I'd hate to see you lose, lose the family that you have over some petty shit that you're having with somebody else. Unless that's what you want. And I don't know. No. But I'm just giving I just you... Don't like yeah. No, I was just going to say, I just don't like waking up and motherfuckers are praying on my downfall. That's the only thing, motherfucker. Like... Like, I, I talk to a lot of my gang members, they all fuck with me. He's the only one that don't fuck with me. Probably uh, Tyreek don't fuck with me because that's his boy and shit like that. Mm. But it's like, it's like, bro, like, I, don't, I, I, I wake up and it's like, y'all just ignore the year of, uh, of shit I put in blood and sweat into the gang to just accuse me right away. I mm -hmm. would just tell Fibbler, I said, Fibbler, if OTT, I mean, if Rami came up to you and told you OTT shot one of your gang members and talked all kinds of shit on the gang and then Ocean up them so they wouldn't know just for Rami, would you believe Rami or would you believe OTT when he came to you and said, bro, he's fucking lying. Let's go smoke these motherfuckers. He said, I believe OTT. You know why? Because that's my fucking gang member. Yes. Fuck CG or fuck everybody. Yes. I believe in my gang members that put the blood and sweat in. He yes. Like that. That's the way it should be. Yeah, but 
it's like the exact opposite right now. It's like out of no and like don't get me wrong. Like like you like you the most truthful motherfucker, and I'm being truthful too. Obviously, motherfuckers got to weigh out like usefulness and all that shit. But and there's clear biases in gangs. Mm -hmm. But like in my opinion, motherfucker, if you don't equally fucking punish people, even if they are the best gang member, and I can do the same shit he does, but mm -hmm. he just does it 100 better, mm -hmm. you still gotta fucking punish people. Oh, 100 percent. Otherwise, it causes all kinds of animosity and shit. Like bro, like yep. he told me to stand down, I stood down, and all of a sudden this happened. So I, obviously I'm, I'm suspect number one. It's like bro, motherfucker, we both got ocean up. You don't believe. Believe me, you said that uh, you, they said basically one of y'all is lying. How? Why does it have to? Why be would you get lying? dumped with them? Like if you're the one who's doing the dumping, then why in the fuck are you dumped too? Don't make no sense. That's what I'm saying. I said I don't remember shit. Like what? But like they just go right for it. Like oh, we found that you got a helicopter license and 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 something something something. And I'm like okay, I do weed runs with a helicopter. You know what I'm saying? Or what? What if he drove me to get my my, my helicopter? Like or like what? Like, like, it's just a thought process of having to think that, like, it's the easy way around, like, nah, Ratchet did it. Because everybody, everything else is too confusing and hard. So, whatever. Well, bro, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. Uh, I, I would I just say... That bullshit. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I don't blame you. I don't fucking... I, dude, I just don't deal with the drama anymore. Like, we used to have a ton of that shit. And, uh, I just fucking kick people and just... You're, you're done. You're... Fuck you. Like, just go fuck off. Yeah just becomes a headache it, it it seeps through and it just goes through the whole fucking gang and and uh our, our worst time was like six seven months ago when there was like uh like pockets of people um that like friend groups within the group you know like like little circles and uh yeah. you know they, they would start bickering with each other and it's like oh well you know you don't take me on this job and you're only fucking doing with this with these people and Blah, 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 and I just, I had enough of it, man. We all got to act like a family, or they need to get the fuck out. And I, I get to the point where it's like, I don't care what you do for the gang. I don't care. You could be our savior, Jesus Christ. I, you're, 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 you are you're got to go. You got to go. So, have a talk with Marty, man. Just have a one-on-one. -on -one, tell him how you feel. Do it in a respectful uh, respectful manner. And I'm sure he will he will listen, and hopefully he'll make the right call. And if that means he has to yeah. punish both of you, so be it. Um... Then just deal with it and move on, and just try not to aggravate future in in the in the in the future. Pardon the pun. And you know you could also do a 180 on this motherfucker. Just kill him with kindness. Just kill him with kindness until he fucking until the attitude stops. You know, because the reality is, bro, if you keep if you keep poking the bear, and you guys keep bickering and bitching, you're gonna make Marty or whoever else is running the show there make tough decisions. And depending on where you're at within that gang it could go bad for you it could go good for you but one way or another it's going to end up bad for somebody if not both so just chill out don't 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 let it weigh on you so so much go and have fun with some other crews you know just let let the shit this all this shit usually lasts a couple of days man a few days and it's old news especially when nobody's got any wars and shit going on people get bored man they start coming up with reasons to be angry it's, it's the way it is. So just remain calm, bro. Even if it's not in your character to do so, you got to think deeper than that. Because if push comes to shove, you, you, you might be hung out to dry. And then what are you going to do? Smoke crack. Well, I mean, if that's the life you want to live, I, I mean, I'm sure you'd rather smoke crack and be part of GG, right? Uh, if they keep treating me the fucking way that they treat me, yeah, pretty much, motherfucker, because I'm a ride or die all the way, motherfucker. I, and, and, like, I randomly meet people and I ride or die right away if they fuck with me, you know what I'm saying, motherfucker? Because mm -hmm. like, if you help me, I help you, take shit. Mm -hmm. But if I wake up every day and I'm a ride or die, but that's you, true. you feel like you want me to die, like, what the fuck? That's true. So, that's the only thing. Like, I'm away from Marty, and then whatever he says respectfully, I respect. Correct. Because that motherfucker's giving me the world. So, like, you know what I mean, motherfucker? Like, that's why I ain't doing nothing no crazy. I had, I had advice by certain people that told me to just be like, Call a meeting, bust the motherfucking. No, out. that's dumb. <laughs> that's fucking dumb. That's dumb unless that's what you want to do. And even if that's what you want to do, it's still dumb. Right, if they're blaming me for some shit that I never did. Then like, what's the point? Well, I'm defend yourself, but you don't need to fucking yeah. shoot people on the way out. You know what I'm saying? Just say fuck yeah. this. You know, I'm not dealing with this. I'm not going to be your fucking your your scapegoat and your fucking punching bag. I didn't do anything wrong. So it's either you believe me as a family, or apparently I'm not part of this family. And then just and, and leave if that's what you really want because nobody wants to be part of a group that they're getting you know treated like shit twenty four seven. But I think it's a he said she said thing, and I think speaking to Marty will clear up ninety nine point nine percent of the stuff. He's gonna make the call, and then it's up to Marty 
if he wants to punish people if they start treating you differently. And if he doesn't have your back equally from everybody else, then you got to ask yourself, do I want to be part of this group or not? But I wouldn't make these decisions without having a conversation first. Yeah. OTT, you the boss. Well, you know, I try. <laughs>